And thy life shall hang in doubt. You hear that? Your life will hang in doubt. Why you have doubt? You don't know if you're gonna see tomorrow. You don't know how long you're gonna live for. Get what am I reading? I'm reading the Bible. Read. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. You're gonna be scared in the daytime or at night. Read. And shall have none assurance of thy life. I did not make this up, my brother. We just read it out the Bible. It's When the other races look at us, they laugh. They, they at amazement for how we conduct ourselves. Look at our sisters and our brothers. How you doing, my brother? You got a question? You got, what's your question, man? Uh, 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 man, ask your question now. We ain't gonna be all alone. Solomon 2 and 10. With the Solomon 2 and 10, is it Habakkuk 1 and 5? 2 and 5? When it said, uh, give me with the Solomon 2 and 10 first. Let me show you something. Because this is a, America, they can make, they can have a, a law today, right? They kill one of us, and they have a law just so that that white person do not get in trouble the for law them, is right? Slide. Yeah, two and five. The law is like. Habakkuk 2 and 5. All right, I'm going to read this one first. We're going to have Habakkuk 2 and 5 now. Watch this. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. He said, let us oppress the poor righteous man. According to the Bible, let's read that real fast. Isaiah 42 and 32. Because the, according to the Bible, we are the poor. And when I say we, I mean the nation of Israel. That's what it says. Just so you understand what I'm saying, I'm going to show you how the Bible. Watch this. Isaiah 40, 14 and verse 32. All right, watch this. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 32. What shall one then answer the messenger of the nation? That the Lord hath founded Zion and the poor of him. Right, Zion is talking about the nation of Israel. He said the poor of his people. So we are the ones that are poor. All right, watch this. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Right, so he said, let us oppress them. Let us not spread a widow. When it comes to our people as a nation, it ain't just you that go through that same situation. You look at how many of us got killed by the police. It's in, we can't even count the numbers, right? Right. Exactly. We still a snicker bar. We get more than that. But I'm showing you, this system is not set up for us, right? So finish it out. Watch this. Verse 11, let all strength be the law of justice. That's their strength. They can make up rules and change it whenever they want to. Habakkuk chapter 1 and 2 and verse 5. 1 and 5? Habakkuk 1 and verse 5. Habakkuk chapter 1 and verse 4. Four yeah. Therefore, the law is slack. And it's slack. How is it they can kill one of us and get paid time off? But we get caught fighting dog. What happened to us? What happened? To Go ahead.
Hey, okay. Let me finish this verse out first because I'm pretty sure our brother right here, he, he can relate to the same thing. Don't you, when you agree that us as a nation of people, when I say us as a nation, right? I'm talking about the so called blasphemy Hispanics. Don't we suffer police brutality? Right? Anyway, how is it that they laws, the America laws, is all jacked up when it comes to our people? Right? Even like we. Go ahead. It was been going on for years. Yeah, for years, for years. Yeah, yeah. Even like, I'm gonna give you an example for July 4th, right? We, that's Independence Day. But you know where the, so, we know where the African American was at in, on uh, July 4th, 1776, where was that? Aging us, right? So you you seen more stuff hands on firsthand, right? When it comes to the oppression of the so-called black people, Somebody right? So it. who had the world taught us that this man is? No, who, who the world taught us that? And that's Jesus Christ, right? Let me read Revelation 1 and verse 14 real quick. Because he said, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He said, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked and they cover the face of the judge thereof. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now this is talking about Jesus Christ. He said he got white woolly hair. Now I can look at your face right there. You got wool. That's wool. I look at your hair. That's wool right there, right? White woolly hair. Now if you let your beard grow like you should, my brother, or sir, you like, if you let your beard grow like you should, sir, you would have a full grown white beard, right? Because that's, right. that's how it grows. Watch this. As white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's first miracle turned the water into wine. If we were all drinking right now and enjoying ourselves, what color the white part of our eyes turn? It'll turn red. That's right. It'll turn red. Watch this. And his feet. What? And his feet. Now, my feet the same color my hands and my face. Would y'all agree for yourself? All right, watch this. Like and like and his feet. Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Brass is the same color as copper. What color is that? Brass is the same color as copper. What color is that? Brown. It's a goldish brown. brown. Goldish brown, right? Watch this. As if they burn in a furnace. He said, if they burn in a furnace. Sure. And hey, he look more like you, my brother. Right. You see that? You see that? You see that? So Christ, that's one way they cover the face of their own. But look, ever since they've been in power, everything been on uh, evil as, evil as, I don't want to cuss. Everything been worse for us. We did. What happened? How? Ezekiel 39, 23. Hmm? Go ahead. I'm gonna, I want to hear everything you say, my brother. I want, I want to deal with it. Because this is going to help our situation, right? Go ahead. I'm going to show you how they came in power. Watch this. Ezekiel! Uh, I, I do, I do want to uh, touch up on exactly what you said to add on to what officer was just saying. Uh, in reference of how we feel today. All of us, all of us have that, all of us have that fearful spirit whenever it comes to when police get, watch this, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But there's a reason behind that. There's a reason why we feel that way when it comes to the so-called white man. Watch this, 28 verse 15. This is a warning Moses gave Israel of things that will happen to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. That's a sign to identify the children of Israel today. Because we don't know that we are God-chosen people. We don't know. The reason why we're going through those things is because we transgress God's laws. We stop keeping God's laws. As a result, we going through what we're going through today. What you see you going through, my brother, it's not by accident. God is trying to get your attention. God is trying to get, it's not by coincidence you stop here. You stop here because you're looking for a better way. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. See, Moses says it will happen. That means it didn't happen yet, read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to hearken, meant to listen. If you don't listen to God's voice, read. To observe, to do 
all his commandments to observe, to do. Do is an action verb. Because Christianity tell you all you have to do is believe. Believe is not action. I believe. That don't mean anything. There's got to be an action behind that that make you believe. My brother, you might want to listen to this because that's for you too, my brothers. We showing why we going through this and what can we do to get out of that. Come, come, come around. What? All right, watch this. Watch this. Listen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses is about to list it many curses that will fall upon the children of Israel. Now here's the one that I'm gonna give you. It's exactly what you just said. Jump to verse 65. Watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you mentioned about uh, how you feel like they after you, they wanna kill you. It's not just you, it's all the children of Israel you see in this sign here. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. Yep. And among these nations shalt thou find no E. God says, among these nations, the so called white Hispanic, I mean, the so called white. The so-called Chinese, the so-called uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Arabs, all these nations, you're not gonna find ease. They're gonna make you work your your living life a living hell. Watch this. We don't. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. My brother, you don't rest. You work 24/7. You work every day. You don't have no rest. You have three jobs. You still can take care of your basic needs. Read. And this. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, uh -huh. but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. You see that? God will give you a trembling heart. Uh -huh. A trembling heart is a fearful spirit. We were never fearful. One man can take a thousand. We were never fearful. God put that spirit on us. Where we, you can see us standing against 20 of us, or uh, 100 of us standing against one white man and we scared. Watch this. We like to say we on this block we on this block against each other. Let one cops come up, you see everybody hiding. That's the spirit that God put in us. Read. And failing of eyes uh -huh. and sorrow of mind. Sorrow of mind go to you feeling um, to depression. You sound depressed because of what you're going through. The Bible is telling you why are you going to go through these. Read. And thy life shall hang in doubt. You hear that? Your life will hang in doubt. Why you have doubt, you don't know if you're going to see tomorrow. You don't know how long you're going to live for. Get What am I reading? I'm reading the Bible. Read. And thy life shall hang in doubt uh -huh. before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt fear day and night. You're going to be scared in the daytime or at night. Read. And shall have none assurance of thy life. I did not make this up, my brother. We've just read it out the Bible. It says, yeah. you will have no assurance of your life. That means you can't guarantee you're gonna see tomorrow. They don't think like that, we do. The fearful thing is happening to us, why? Because we stop keeping God's laws. I'm gonna show you another one, I'm gonna show you another one. You should, give me uh, uh, Je Jeremiah, Jeremiah 16 and 10. Watch this, I'm show you. This is what you should wonder, why? Because I'm sure you wanna know, why are we going through these things? If, if, if we're supposed to be God chosen people, why am I feeling fearful when I get pulled over? Why do I feel like I might not make it tomorrow? Why do I feel like that? Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words. When it, it says, Jeremiah says, it will come to a, a, a time. God says to Jeremiah, it will come to a, a time when you show God chosen people all these words, all these curses, all these blessings, when you start showing them these things, read. And they shall say unto thee, wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? We are gonna be saying, why did God allow us to go through these things? Why did God allow us to go through slavery? Why did God allow us to get raped, murdered? All these things happen to these are great evil. When you see you have your wife, another man go and sleep with her, you can't do nothing about it. That's great evil. Your young men getting raped right before your eyes, you can't do nothing about it. You see you getting your people are getting slaughtered over nothing, and you can't do nothing about it. These are considered great evil. Read. Or 
What is our iniquity? Now the question is, what sin have we commit for us to go through these things here? What did we do? What did we do wrong? These are basic questions our people should be asking. We're not asking these questions. Read. Or, what is our sin uh -huh. that we have committed against the Lord uh -huh. our God? Read. Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me. Here's your answer. Now God is giving you the answer why we going through these things. God is telling you why you going through these things. Read. Because your fathers have forsaken me. God says, our forefathers forsaken him. How did our forefather forsaken God? It's going to tell you. Read on. Say it, the Lord, and have walked after other gods. See that? Our forefathers walk after other gods. One of the uh, scripture um, officers just showed you, we follow Caesar Bojian. That's not our God. We follow Christmas. That is not our God. We follow Easter, Halloween. All these things are other gods that we give in power unto and not our true God. Read. Because then shalt thou say unto them, say the Lord, and have walked after other gods and have served them and have worshipped them and have forsaken me and have not kept my law. See, that's what our forefathers didn't do. Watch this. It's going to tell you about us now. Read. And ye shall have and ye have done worse than your fathers. See that? God says, we have done worse than our father. How did we do worse? I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it to you, my brother. I'm going to prove it. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. I'm going to prove how did we do worse than our forefather. And you tell me if I'm lying. Watch yeah. this. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Uh -huh. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God have a problem with the children of Israel. It's going to tell you what. Read. Because there is no truth. No truth. What is the truth that there is? There is no truth in the land. It's going to tell you. Give me that in Psalm 119, verse 142. Because what is that truth that there is none of? Read, read that for me. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Uh -huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. What is, what is God's law? Is the truth. God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is 
Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 